How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to talk about the most convenient and the safest password manager I've ever seen. Today we're going to talk about a no password password manager, but how does that work? That's right, it's a password manager that doesn't require a master password. It may seem a little bit confusing right now, but in just a few seconds, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about and you're gonna love it just like I do. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about Loop8. That's the password manager I'm talking about. Please keep in mind, I'm gonna have a direct link right here in the description so you can tap on it and go straight to this page. And that's important because the first step is to actually download Loop8 on your desktop because Loop8 is actually a desktop oriented password manager, right? But don't worry because it's completely universal. So if you're doing this on a Mac, Windows PC, it will work with everything. And also it'll work with your iPhone and Android. So it's completely universal, all right? So let's start with the first step. Let's go ahead and open up our pricing. And this is very important because we do have a 14 days completely free trial and you don't even need a credit card. It's super simple. You just need to put your email and your phone number and you're in. I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna do this with you step by step, all right? So this is so awesome. Let's go ahead and download now, as you can see, and then it's gonna start downloading. In our case, it's gonna be a Mac installer, but of course it has also the Windows installer, as you can see. All right, so let it do its thing, let it download. It's super fast, as you can see, and then we can already go ahead, click on it, open it up, and then of course open once again, and that's pretty much the installation process. How cool is that? Now let's set it up. As you can see right here, it's asking for the Loop 8 app on the phone and it's gonna give you already a QR code and as I said, works with Android and iPhone as well. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get my iPhone right here. I'm gonna open up my camera and then as easy as that, I'm gonna read this QR code and then I'm gonna open it up and then it's gonna be super fast. It's gonna redirect us to the App Store and then of course, I'm just gonna need to download Loop 8 Privacy Controller right here on my phone. This is a free download as well, all right? So let it do its thing, let it download. Then all I have to do is open it up, as you can see, and let's actually set it up, which is super fast. I'm gonna allow notifications and then I'm gonna actually gonna create an account I'm gonna actually use my iPhone's built-in biometric security and that's how the magic happens because you don't need a master password, you don't need to remember anything because your protection is your face, your biometrics, in this case of the iPhone Face ID. So I'm gonna continue and then I'm gonna allow Face ID, I'm gonna authenticate as you can see and that's all the information I need, email and phone number as I mentioned, that's it and then we're in. So I'm gonna fill it out and then I'm gonna agree and continue, let it load, and then in a second, as you guys can see, it's gonna send a code and then the code is right here down below. I'm gonna tap on it from the messages app, so cool. And then of course, verify the email as well. Let me verify the email too. This has to be safe, okay guys? This is your password manager, but don't worry because after that, it's just Face ID. You don't need to remember anything else. I'm gonna auto-complete my email code as well, and then it's loading, and we're almost done, guys. We're almost set up. Let it work. And then we have here, let's get started, continue, and then we're good. So let's go ahead and dismiss this because let's log in using the camera and doing step two right here on the computer. So let's go ahead with step two. Let's continue right there on step two. We have another QR code, as you can see. I'm gonna log in with loop eight. Of course, allow access to my camera in order to do that. And then it's gonna read the QR code and then we're in. So now our phone and our computer are completely synced and of course, from now on, all of our passwords will be accessible from the computer, completely protected by my phone. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, okay, but how are they protected? How is this protecting my passwords? And it's super simple, guys. The way this works is my passwords are actually gonna be on the phone. 
they're gonna be stored on the phone and the computer will be able to access those passwords via an encrypted connection, okay? So super safe only when you have the phone unlocked and only when you allow the computer to access. So instead of having your passwords in a ton of devices, in a ton of different places, no, 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 you have your passwords on your phone and then when necessary, you allow with the phone, the computer to have access to it. I'm gonna show you in a second this in action, okay? So the way this is gonna work is via a plugin. So as you can see, we have a extension. So we have a plugin extension for Google Chrome and for Safari. I'm gonna use the Google Chrome one, okay? So let me actually close the Safari window here in the back. We don't need that anymore. And let's go ahead and add to Chrome. As you can see, it's gonna automatically open up Google Chrome with the extension. And then all you have to do is add to Chrome, as you can see. So add extension, super simple. And then that's how your browser is gonna use Loop 8 to actually connect to your phone and get your passwords and of course autofill and do everything for you without you having to worry about anything, all right? So as you can see, we're almost there. It's asking to import logins. So we have this possibility. If you already have a password manager, you can easily import your logins from your previous one because this is the future, right? But of course, I'm gonna do it later just so the video doesn't get too long, all right? And let's go ahead and start browsing. So we're good to go, we're browsing normally and we have right here the loop eight indication, meaning we're there. We have here the loop eight indication, meaning it's connected and working. Let's open up here, loop eight once again. As you can see, it's installed, so it's grayed out. And then let's continue. As you can see, we're good, we're done. You can go ahead and click on done, and then you don't need this app this software on your Mac or your PC anymore, because now you have the extension right here fully working. And as you can see, that's the dashboard of Loop 8 right here as well. And then here is where all of your logins are gonna live. I'm gonna actually add just some logins so you guys can see how it works. As I said, you can import or add manually. I'm gonna add manually, okay? So as you can see, you put the name of the login. I'm gonna put, uh, Insta, great. So the username, that's my Instagram username. So it's Daniel about tech and the password, which of course I'm not gonna show you. As you can see, you can manually type it in if it's a login that you already had, or you can click on it and generate a password if you are actually generating a new password, a new login for you. And of course here, let's put in the website itself. So it's gonna be instagram.com and then let's hit save as you can see so now it's gonna ask to open the loop 8 app but since it's already open it already authenticated and synced as you just saw and then it's right here insta my name it got the website and it's perfect and let me show you that it works so if i go ahead here go to a new tab and then i go to instagram and let's just google search and then let's go to instagram.com, right? Let's open up the website. And as you guys can see, it's all done automatically. So we've got here the loop eight icon, as you can see, it already inserted all of the information, filled out completely. All I have to do here is click on login and then I'm good to go. That's how easy it is. And you don't really have to worry about anything. You're good, you're done. Once you're done with Loop 8, all you have to do is lock, as you can see. So Loop 8 is completely locked, so it's not getting your passwords anymore. The connection is temporarily closed, so then you can close your browser, do whatever you want, you're good to go, you don't need it anymore. And then when you need to retype a password or use any kind of password for that matter, let me show you how you can do it. So now that we have it locked, let me go ahead and do the exact same example. So let's go to Instagram once again. And then as you can see, it didn't automatically fill out, but we have the loop eight icon. So all you have to do is click on it and then it's asking us to unlock, right? Because we locked before. So if you click on unlock, it's checking, it says check your phone. So we're gonna go ahead, open up, get our phone right here, open up loop eight, unlock, and then as you guys can see, sync is asking to sync. So let's 
tap on sync and as you can see it's gonna automatically fill out got here the password so as you can see insta and then my name and then password everything so we are now unlocked so we are now having access to all of our passwords once again so as you guys can see this is the way loop 8 works this is the most convenient password manager i've ever seen and naturally the most secure simply because you don't have a master password you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about someone figuring it out because just think about it imagine someone figures out your master password they can do anything they can ruin your life but with loop 8 it doesn't happen because your master password is your face it's face id and this is the safest password that there will ever be. Oh, and before I wrap it up, let me show you a little bit more about the Loop 8 app, because apart from all of the password managing stuff, of course, you can also have secure notes. As you can see, you can type in and save them. They'll be extremely safe. You also have the possibility to store documents with MySafe, which will work in a very similar fashion to the password manager. So there's a dedicated app right here for the PC, you go ahead and you can store and manage all your documents that you don't want anyone else to have access to. And if you go to logins, of course, you'll be able to access the same logins that you just saw on the desktop. You can open that up, view, edit, and do everything else on your phone as well. So as I said, it's a desktop oriented password manager, but it doesn't mean you can access anything from your phone too. So that's pretty much it guys that's a quick overview a review and of course a hands-on and how to actually make it work step by step from the beginning to the end of loop 8 my new favorite password manager thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next video guys bye bye